React Router 6.4 is our biggest release yet with the data APIs we've abstracted from Remix. Nearly every route needs to fetch data. Simply add a loader to each route and React Router will call all of them in parallel before the routes render. Finally, access the data from each route with the use loader data hook. That's it. Data loading is efficient. As the user navigates the app, only the data for the changing route layouts is loaded. In this case, the sidebar remains, but the contact is fetched. React Router ensures the user never sees a blank screen when your code inevitably fails from a runtime error. Route error elements give you control. You can even nest them to keep the UI without problems still up. If a route doesn't have an error element, it bubbles to the parent. Some data errors you can expect, like 404s. Throwing a semantic fetch response renders the error path, keeping the happy path happy. Loading data is only half the story. 6.4 completes the job with direct support for data mutations. Just point a form action at a route and add a route action. Your job's done. When the user submits the form, React Router emulates the browser's default behavior by sending a request with form data to your route action instead of the server. When the action finishes, all page data is revalidated, even in other routes like the sidebar, automatically. Network latency is nearly guaranteed. 6.4's new navigation state enables elegant UI and code to handle it. Whether you need the spinner in context on a search field or globally for full page navigation, React Router's got you covered. And check this out. Form data is available on pending route actions, so you can completely mask the network latency with optimistic UI. Try it out today and let us know how it goes. Happy routing.